Okay. You got audio? Good. So what we have here is failure to communicate. No, what we got here is a Gibson SG custom badass. See, look, it says special SG model. But the trust runs. Oh, look at skull. <laughs> A little skull with red eyes for the tuners. Not much going on in the neck, but here the body's been reliced. You can see on the back too, and there's like little wormholes too. Not deep, so they're annoying. Just, just cool, like wormholes like you'd find in old wood. This guy, he's uh, out of Phoenix area. I just talked to him. I wanted to know what kind of uh, pickups he put in. You see, everything's got skulls. This one actually is a coil splitter. But I'm going to pop that pickup out. Both these pickups are mounted to the body, so that's a good start. It's got to be totally set up. And then there's this. But, you know, you can see the, the relicking and stuff. Not bad for 200 bucks, or just about to under 200 bucks. Because I got that other one, that stupid, uh, you can see this, the other one, the uh, Epiphone, the Johnny Depp thing, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, World's End, I think it was. Those things go for a bit. You can find anywhere from like 600 to 1200 more. Because there's Apple phones and there's Gibson. So when I got mine, I went on a rant. Because this, as I showed you, all five of you that watched, broke off. I'm getting up there. 690, I think I'm at. Really, it's taking me that long. But, you know, thanks for every single one of you that... And I'm trying to subscribe to everybody that subscribes to me. So if you want me to subscribe to you and I haven't done it, shoot me a note, shoot me something. I will subscribe to everybody that subscribes to me. So, okay, so he saw the rant. And he goes, he goes you know, I, got, I make pirate guitars. They're part of my, you know, thing he does. He takes guitars and and relics them or, or upgrades them or whatever, and set and resells them on eBay or in his store, just to do it. And he makes good, pretty good living. And we were talking. He was out here playing the strip in the '80s, but he left here in '84, and because his he got his girlfriend pregnant. How weird! And. Uh, I beat him by a year, and uh, no, actually I got my girlfriend pregnant in the beginning of 84, and then she had him at the, in October, 84, so, which is crazy, because I'm only 30 years old, how is that possible, I'm 30 and I have like a 34 year old son, but, anyway, so, getting back to this guy, he's very cool, I said, what kind of pickups are these, because they're really friggin' squealing, and like that and that's just because they're not you know a high-end pickup they're just a pickup there's no uh, potting going on he says they're really hot they're about you know they put out about eight I go eight I mean mine I want at 16 so I go, I'll give these to my guy, because I like the way those pickups look in the guitar. This is kind of a dark blood red. It really looks good. It really does. And yes, it is a real Epiphone. It's not some whatever. And of course it was made in Asia. Everything is made in Asia. This guy's talking to me about, dude, you know that Dime Bolt, that Dime 333? That's not USA. Okay. 
if it's put out by Washburn and that dime bolt, the 333 bolt, is a very rare guitar. The act actually, the most rare guitar is the Alien, which I got for nothing. And it's a Washburn uh, dime. And that's just got an Alien head. And I was all jacked up and I started putting Kiss like dog tags. I'd nail them into it. <laughs> Nailing. Bam, bam, bam. And just, just destroyed it. I'm going to try to kind of take everything out and relic it. Because I'm like, this is a good idea. Because that's what he did with these holes here. To relic them, he just made them look like wormholes. You just fill it in black and then just kind of... So I can do that. So I'll do that. But uh, what was that guitar for? Oh, the dime. So he's like, dude, this is not made in the U.S. I go, dude, the one I have, the Dime Bolt 333, is actually worth three to four thousand dollars, and it was made in Korea because that was a time when Dime was like tripping out and didn't know if if he should go back to, you know, Dean, because Dean was said, you know, if you come back, I'll put this, everything back together, and that's how it should be, because, blah, 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 and, you know, dimes are too nice. So he did it. <coughs> Even though the Washburn guitars are superior to the Deans. And I got both. I got a bunch of dimes. I forgot all about them dime bag guitars, not, you know, coins. So anyways, there's that. That's that. So, been talking to guys and trying to straighten them out on their uh, thinking that is wrong. <laughs> but here you go. Here's uh, basically an Epiphone SG special. Uh, like that black one I got. The same thing. Exactly, almost. And, uh, like, this guy's put a, got some push-pull here for this, but, you know. But it sounds pretty good. I mean, if a kid just bought this, he'd take it home and plug it into his little amp. Oh, yeah! You know, I'd be stoked. This is my first or second guitar. Hell, yeah. I just was, like, pissed because the pirate guitar that I ordered was broken. I want a pirate guitar. Well, I got one. It's not an official one, but it's 
it's good enough. And it sounds pretty good. I gotta find, look, see the pickups? You can see what they are. They're a copy of these Seymour Duncans or something. So I'll just either get the real thing, because he's like, why would you get a pickup that's worth more than you paid for the guitar? I'm like, the guitar plays great. It's not set up yet, but when it does, when it's set up, you know, I'm not a Gibson guy, I'm an Epiphone guy. So to me, the smaller necks and everything, that shred. And if you got, you know, jumbo frets and everything set up right, that's also great. But, you know, I, you know what I like. You'll know how I like to play, so that's that. So it's just stupid to even talk about it. Anyway, so I prefer Epiphone. I don't like Gibson. You're just buying the name. It's like the old rednecks, like my dad. He sticks with Chevy. I'm buying Chevy. I'm buying Chevy. He just bought a brand new Chevy last night. Uh, yep, yeah, brand new. 19, uh, 2000, what is it? 2019 Chevy. This thing. When I totaled his car <laughs> 10 years ago, I paid for it. He paid $1,000 for it. I bought him a new car. Uh, well, it wasn't new. It was used, but I paid uh, like six grand for it. Six or seven grand. He hated it. It was a Chevy Malibu. 2007. Because, yeah, because I bought it in 2010. I'll never buy another one of those again. Damn. 2008. So, blah, 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 blah like three four years ago he buys another one the same year the same color I'm like the definition of insanity is to do, is doing the same thing and expecting the, a different result you do the same thing over and over and expect a different result you've bought two cars they both suck so now he says, well, I read that the new one, I'm like, no, but it is a very nice car. It's very nice. He's, he's just impressed that he doesn't have to, you know, put the key in or do anything. He presses a button, it starts and he's off. He thinks he's a king now and I'm happy for him. My parents should live like this. They should have a nicer house. So the next step is for me to get all my stuff that I have in their house, get it ready so they can move. They don't have any excuses. And they do. I've got all my stuff boxed. All we got to do is say, ready, go. And hopefully they'll move where me and my son are. But we'll find out. Why am I telling you guys? It has nothing to do with anything. But I am gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a walkumentary. Walkumentary. I'm gonna start at the liquor store at the top of Sunset, and me and my friend are gonna just walk from the liquor store down to uh, the whiskey, and just try to think of things. Then we might shoot down to the Troubadour because a lot of stuff took place at the Troubadour. And uh, there you go. And I'll just try to remember as much stuff. And that'll just be like talking about stories. And then maybe the guy that shoots this thing will get some ideas. Who knows? We'll find out. Right? Right. <laughs>
this loud. Jay Hush Thank <laughs> you. 